Hello everybody! Salty Sweet Ren here, back with another episode of The Sims 3 Create Your Cat series. Now, for those of you who don't know, or may be new to the channel, this is a series I do in which I take cats that you guys, the viewers, have submitted, and I do my best to create them within The Sims 3. Uh, these can be your OCs, they can be cats that you own, they can be made up off the top of your head, based off of fictional characters, basically whatever comes to mind. And the cats that you have submitted will be added to the world of my Warrior Cats Challenge at a later date, and may turn up somewhere in the future. These can be like loners, kitty pets, rogues, wanderers, possibly even former clan cats, just like the cats who began this challenge. And, um, ba basically they'll hopefully turn up in the world. There's a chance they may get rotated out before they get a chance to show up, but if they don't, then you're in luck, so... Or hopefully. But anyway, uh, the, I always do give priority to viewers who have not yet had their cats created within this series. You may, you might still, you may still submit additional cats even after yours has been created within the episode. But just keep in mind that it might take a while to get to them while I create the cats that other people have submitted first. The that new people have submitted first. Your cats will still be on the list. It's just going to take me a bit longer. And on another note, because I've had a few people asking about this, I cannot create kits within Create a Sim. I can make adult and elder cats, but I cannot make kits, so they are not available. But what I can do is have them at an age where they have just barely reached six moons, like they're about the age where they would become a, an apprentice in the first place. So you're out of luck if you want to see the tiny little squeaky babies running around, tripping over their feet, but... They can have just aged out of being a kit, and I can play it off like that, which is probably what I'm going to be doing in this episode, in fact. And The Sims 3 still gives me trouble, so I can only do two cats at a time. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and jump in. Alright. So, this episode, both cats were submitted by White Wolf 3123 and uh, the cats in question are uh, Stream Spots and Bandit Stripe. Uh, Stream Spots is a former River Clan cat, so I'll go ahead and do X. Yeah, X Clan, just right there. And it says, she is light gray with black spots, a white underbelly, and white fur around her nose. She has blue eyes and black ears and hates to be alone. She has an interesting marking from her dad, a red tail with black stripes. So let's go ahead. I might use the Abyssinian as a base. This is the default Abyssinian. But I think I'll use it as a base. It is a fun body shape. I don't play with it as often as I'd like to. It's probably one of my favorites within The Sims 3. It's gonna take a while. There we go. The game is slower than I'd like it to be. But hopefully... Let me go ahead and go into advanced mode. And we can start changing up the markings. So, she is light gray. So let's go ahead and right off the bat, change her to be a kind of pale gray color. Might tweak it so it's not like a solid gray. Maybe pull it a little more. Not quite purple. Something like that, perhaps. Still gray. Still very pretty. Just a slightly different shade than you'd expect. And she has black spots. So do I want to do like proper spotted markings or do I want to do something else? Like, do I want to do something like this? Or do I want to like just dapple her myself. I'll start off with this. I may also pull this just a tad over towards the brownish color as well. I'll start off with this and in addition do some actual black spots here and there. Like if I take this and kind of shrink it down just a bit Gonna lower the opacity, but also make it that same black color. 
kind of pull it over here, rotate it, maybe change it to this. I can definitely like play with this quite a bit. Can increase the opacity on that. Maybe bring this over here. It'll be fun to kind of like have like different looking patterns all over. Like up there. And I can take it back to this and pull it like more towards the back, twist it again, more like that, perhaps? Shrink it down a bit more, maybe? And I'm gonna add a little bit more of this looking pattern. This, I can lower the opacity of a bit. It's kind of fun just like having it like it is a spotted cat but it's not quite what you'd expect for a spotted cat as well it's not quite as like neat and organized but that's fun it's very different it's actually kind of fun so let's see she also has a white underbelly and white fur around her nose so let's go ahead go back to markings and let's get to the underbelly she has a white underbelly We can pull her, like, there, perhaps. Kind of fades into the gray. It's barely noticeable, but if I double it up... Yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit easier to see like that. I do wish that this one didn't quite go all the way up to the chin. But, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this for now, or... Yeah, actually, let's do this. And around her nose, there should be a marking somewhere that does go, like, right around her nose. Like... this. Or... something more like that, maybe? It doesn't cover the entire nose, but it is, like, right around her nose. It is pretty cute. I do like that. She has black ears as well, so let's go ahead and find the ear markings. I know that they exist. Gotta just find them if I scroll down to here. And that should be black. If I double it up, a little more visible as being black, so... That's kind of fun. Let me get a look at you, Dream Spots. You are very cute. Oh yeah, and you have to have a red tail with black stripes as well. So let me go ahead and do that. Tail. And let's go with a solid color first. Or, I guess this one is a solid color as well. Um, let's go with this kind of russet color. That actually looks a little too close to being like blood, so let's find something a little bit more of a dark ginger. Like, because a bright red is a little too red, but that could work, perhaps. It's very different. I might do something to, like, make the red kind of fade into her coat as well. But on top of that, uh, we want to get some black stripes. So, there we go. Red tail with black stripes. And uh, let's get some markings as well, just to kind of have the red fade from there to elsewhere. If I pull this to over here, I'm gonna put it like underneath the fur, perhaps? If I put this like underneath the spots, It'll be interesting to see how that works. And I'm gonna bring this all the way down here. Make sure it's solidly red. 
There we go. It's unusual. It's definitely an interesting look, but it's not horrible. I might take um, another one of these markings, actually. Uh, let's pull it up to above the tail, in fact, and put it right on the tail. Like, why don't we kind of expand it a little bit more like this, rearrange it so that it's like... There? You know what? That works. I do think that works. Um, doesn't say that she has a specific fur length, but we'll go into fur shape. Do I want to play with it? Um, let's go ahead and stick with like the smooth look, the silky smooth. And maybe play a little bit with fluffy. Just a bit. I really love the way that she looks. It's so fun. It's so different, but it's so fun. Alright. So, let's go ahead and kind of play with her body shape a little bit. Um, I'm kind of tempted to make her a little bit smaller. Just a little bit, not too much. Um, I may make her a little bit thinner as well. Just a bit. And maybe a little bit longer. It is kind of my go-to with River Clan is making them a little bit thin thinner and a little bit longer. Not too much so, but just enough that it's noticeable. I may make her tail a bit longer as well. And the thickness of her neck, neck scale. Let's pull down a bit. Like so. And let's go to her eyes as well. Her eyes are blue, it says. Yeah. She has blue eyes and... Um... So we've done a lot of blue eyes. Kind of want to make every single time I do blue eyes a little bit different from the last. But it's a little hard to do sometimes. I can do that. And I can kind of make that a little bit of a grayish color. But that kind of works. It's not bad. I can also change her eye shape to be a little bit rounder. Can maybe make her eyes a little bit smaller. Just so they don't look like they're about to like bulge right off of her head. Um, ears? Maybe I'll have move a little bit more to the side. Um, a little bit more... I kind of like that. It's kind of cute. It's very different. But it's not bad. And let's move this to more of a gray color. Like that, perhaps? So you are a very different looking cat. But I'm not opposed to it. I think this is actually kind of cute. I may make her ears smaller, actually, just a little bit. Like that? Okay, yeah, that is super cute. Look at her. She is a super cute cat. Alright, personality. What exactly is DreamSpot's personality? Um... Let's see. She hates to be alone. She has always wanted the maiden kits, but every cat she's taken a liking to has pushed her away. The one maid that she had was killed by a group of foxes while he was hunting. She only has one surviving kit from her litter that she won't let out of her sight named Bandit Stripe. And uh, she would be skittish and shy for sure. So she's skittish and shy, but she also hates to be alone. So shy, skittish... 
But she hates to be alone, so I could do friendly along with it. So she will always be trying to interact with other cats. Being shy and skittish at the same time will make for a very interesting personality, but let's go ahead and give her a very high voice, I think. And I believe this is Stream Spots. So Stream Spots is submitted by White Wolf 3123 Yeah, yeah. So let me go ahead and type that in. Submitted by White Wolf 3123. All right, and let's move on to Bandit Stripe. All right. Now for Bandit Stripe, and I know it previously said that she has a kit, that Bandit Stripe is supposed to be a kit, but when the, the comment was posted, uh, White Wolf 3123 said, if, I, um, if I'm unable to make Bandit Stripe as a kit, to make Bandit Stripe like, as being about apprentice age, which is what I'm going to be doing. It's actually kind of what inspired the whole, like, if I can't make your kit as a kit, I'm going to make them as an apprentice, if that's okay with you. But anyway, Bandit Stripe, would you have been born within a clan? Would you count as being ex-clan if you weren't born within a clan? Um, considering all the other cats that are, like, just about apprentice age now, like, reaching apprentice age, were born outside of the clans? If, if Streams... It also depends on, like, when Stream Spots and Bandit Stripe decided to leave. I'm gonna say... I'm gonna put down Wanderer because if you're born outside of a clan, um, Ban I know it says that Bandstripe is like Bandstripe is a kid, but Stream Spots decided to give him a warrior name is what they wrote. So I'm gonna do this because you're born outside of the clans. You're not technically ex clan. I'm putting you down as a Wanderer alongside Stream Spots, who is a former clan cat. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna go to the Abyssinian for you as well. Like if I used it for your mother, I might as well use it for you. See, Bandit Stripe is white with black stripes, has green eyes like your dad, but a line of white, a line of black across his eyes like a bandit, and otherwise has a white face and black ears like his mom. So let's go ahead and start messing with some of the colors. Go ahead and pull up this white right here. And... So you are a white cat. Do I want to change the shade of white? Maybe a little more close to the brown? The same way your mom's gray is a little closer to the brown. And then you have black stripes, right? Yeah, so let's go ahead and we don't really need the stripes to go like all the way up your face, yeah? Yeah. So white with black stripes, let's just go ahead and do some solid black stripes. It's kind of the pitch black, but why not? It's kind of fun. And now your head is just kind of blank. What I can do is... Um, let's see, you have a white face, it says. What I can do... This is gonna be a little unusual, but I can do this. I'm gonna take this... And make it the same pitch black. But I'm going to also take this... And make it white. And increase the opacity on that, because... That's how it is. And it also says you have black ears. So this is going to be a little bit more complex than I was anticipating. But it works. Alright, it also says that you have a stripe of black across your eyes. Kind of like a bandit. So for that bandit looking look, I'm gonna start off with this kind of heavy black eyeshadow almost. Uh, let's go ahead and make it kind of that heavy black. 
and go to markings. And we're gonna like put something in between to kind of we're gonna take this, kind of shrink it down to kind of just cover the eyes. Ooh, that'd be super cool, actually. If I move that black color, it's right there. Oh, that is super cool. I might pull it in a little bit on this side and a little bit on this side. that this is super fun super different super cool super fun I love it look at you bandit stripe you know what I love this I may keep you does it say you're yeah, oh both are very fluffy I didn't even see that so I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the fluffiness on you do maximum fur length and for density, I'll go ahead and do that. And I'll go ahead and increase this to be a little bit longer for you, Bandit Stripe. Yeah, you're cute. Look at you. And I'll go back and change stream spots in a moment. But until then... I'm gonna work on body shape. I'm gonna make you a little bit smaller than stream spots, in fact. Like, stream spots I already did small, I can make you a little bit smaller, in fact. Not too much smaller, just enough. I may keep most of your body type about the same. And... Tail length. Um, I'll have be a little bit longer. Nose? I might take a little bit closer to being pink. Eyes? It says you have green eyes, yeah? Uh, green eyes like your dad, so I'll go ahead and do green eyes. So... I can do some very interesting colors for some of the cat eyes. It's kind of fun to play around with. But I do really enjoy this. Look at that. It is a fun look. There we go. Look at that. That is some very beautiful cat eyes. I may make them a little bit more serious looking. I'll keep the ears at about the same height. I do really love the way that you look. So I'll go back to stream spots. Let me actually go ahead and save Bandit Stripe just in case my game crashes when I switch between them. Because I don't want to risk that. And I'll go to stream spots. Let's go to the coats. Let's go to the first shape. And advanced mode. Okay, we'll lengthen for length. Add in a bit more of a long fur look. Oh, that is... You know what? I like this. This is a very cute look, oh my gosh. You look so different. But you know what? This is fine. This is fine. I'm gonna actually maybe make your tail a bit fluffier, string spots. Sorry. But there is a way to do that, thankfully. Where is tail thickness? Look at that fluffy tail. There you go. Okay. So you've got your nice fluffy tail. Bandit Stripe has himself looking the way he should. Let's go to personality. So, um... It says that Bandit Stripe would have been born right before the event, actually. But, um... 
So maybe Panda Stripe would be X Clan, actually. I'll go back and change that. But um, Panda Stripe would be a genius, playful, and shy. So let's go ahead and do genius, um, playful, and shy. So I'll go ahead and do a slightly lower voice. Not too much lower, but yeah, Bandit Stripe would be an ex clan cat. But right about apprentice age, maybe mid apprentice age, actually. Definitely younger than Blossom Star and the rest of the Sun Clan apprentices, former apprentices, but older than um, Eagle Paw and Light Paw and the others. So it's some sort of medium in between there. But anyway, you were also. Submitted by White Wolf three one two three. So thank you so much, White Wolf one, White Wolf three one two three, for submitting stream spots. Who happens to be right here? And Bandit Stripe. These two are super fun to make. I'm sorry I couldn't make Bandit Stripe as a kit, but considering that uh, Bandit Stripe would be old enough to be an apprentice regardless, um, Bandit Stripe is uh, gonna be um, apprentice age anyway. So, um, if you guys enjoyed watching this episode, please go ahead and hit the like button and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think, or if you have a cat of your own to submit, Go ahead and leave their name and a brief description of their appearance and personality down below. And um, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay safe out there, friends.